Hello? Hi, I was looking for Zach. Uh, this is him. This is Casey Ryback. I'm a dog breeder. Your wife emailed me and said you were having some breeding issues with your West Highland Terrier. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah, we were having a little issues there. What seems to be the problem exactly? Um, well, we've been trying for a little over a year, actually, and um, to breed. Does your dog just know. seem disinterested in breeding? Maybe. Um, I'm not really like 100%, but that I mean, I, I, I could definitely be it. Okay. Have you allowed it? Have you allowed it to view you? What do you mean, view? Well, me? so you see, dogs learn by example, and I can see it being very beneficial to the dog if you let it watch you and your wife's intimate time. That um, no, um, no, we haven't done that. I've had a lot of success with this technique recently. Do people do this all over the country. People are letting their dogs watch them. Be intimate with each other. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's working. Wonders. Okay. That's, is there, I mean, is there anything different? I don't... Well, I, th- I, mean, I know it's a little unconventional. You need to start by letting the dog just watch you solo. It watch me by myself? Yeah. You just sit in front of the dog, do the thing you would normally do if you were sitting in front of your computer and the wife's not home, if you know what I mean. And that'll start to get the dog to understand the process of breeding. I don't. How does I mean? How does that work? I mean, well, I it, mean, it works like this: you you sit on the couch, you put the dog in, in front of you just to watch, and then you do your thing. You have a bag of treats next to you, and every once in a while, you just toss a treat to the dog to let it know what's going on here is a good thing. And then it starts I to mean, realize. I don't even I don't even know that I could ever do that like seriously. Like I don't think I could. No, I don't. Now, when it comes to getting dogs to breed, I have a 98% success rate, sir. So you probably should just trust me on this. Like, imagine, imagine if I'm doing this, rubbing my dog's belly while I've got my other hand doing my other thing, and my wife walks in. I mean, that's, that's really uncomfortable. Well, you simply explain to her you're just teaching your dog about breeding. I mean, I don't know that she's going to buy that. To be honest with you, she she's going to be probably a little freaked out. She's going to think that's pretty disgusting. All right. Well, so you're not willing to do that. Um, that's probably, no. you know, that technique does work. But I, I tell you what, there are some other things we can do. I can come by, videotape you and your wife being together, and then I can show it to the dog afterwards. We found that is very effective as well. No, you're not videotaping my wife and I. I trust me, it's worked. I've videotaped doctors, lawyers. I've videotaped tons of people doing this and showed their dogs. I and... don't care who you videotape. You're not videotaping my wife and I have sex. Are you insane? I thought you wanted your dog to learn to breed. So are you some kind of scam artist? Like, do you, do you do this to people like regularly? You, you think you can pull this one over me? Absolutely not. I, I am. I... I am sort of a scam artist, sir. I, I'll tell you that much. You're admitting that you're a scam artist. I am. Because this is actually Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the morning doing a phone tap on you. Uh, are you serious? <laughs> yep. Your wife, Erin, set you up. Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> and, uh, she, oh. she emailed us and said you messed with her the other day and she wanted to get you back. I can't believe you would stay on the phone so long with some dog breeding pervert. <laughs> you're, dude, you're the pervert. Uh, you're the one who thought of that idea. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. <laughs>